Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to put an AdMob banner onto your App Inventor 2 app. It's not one of those paid services, this is completely free and it works very well. So let's get started, I'll show you how to do this. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to beta.thunkable.com Thunkable.com, just a standard site, looks something like this and you can sign in and it'll take you with your Google account, I'm already signed into Google, into your, your account here. You see I had one that I made AdMob, but now in your regular account you don't have the AdMob option. It's in the beta that has the AdMob option. So let's create a new app. We're going to call it AdMob. And you'll notice that the apps that are in here aren't going to be in your regular Thunkable account because they're two separate servers. So you'll see this is the standard App Inventor 2 setup here. It has actually in my opinion a little bit of a, a better look than the standard App Inventor 2. But the first thing we need to do is if we know we're going to put AdMob on our, in our app, we need to go here to our screen size and where it says fixed we need to change that to responsive. That must be when you, when you do uh, AdMob. Then, to add the banner, we're going to go here to Experimental, and we have two options, the banner at, or the interstitial. The interstitial are the full screen ads. Um, it, it works pretty much the same way. We're just going to focus on the banner on this one. So I'm going to drag that over and drop it in, and this is just going to remind you that you need to put your screen to responsive instead of fixed. So you see I have it at the top of the screen here. Of course, if I wanted to put it to the bottom of the screen, all I got to do is add an arrangement here with it. And I can just do that and then put the height as fill parent and the width. I'll make fill parent as well. And then it could be at the bottom of your app. So now in order to get this to work, all you need to do is go into the blocks here. Go to screen one and then screen one dot initialize like you normally would and then you go here to the AdMob banner 1 and you're going to put load add. You're going to go back into AdMob and it's going to say when AdMob banner 1 is loaded and of course you can rename this AdMob banner to whatever you want. Um, I just since this is the only thing we're working with I didn't bother changing the name. So once it's loaded then you want to set AdMob banner 1 visible to true and it's that simple. So the other thing you'll need to do is when you're in here in AdMob you'll just have to add your unit ID which you get from within the actual AdMob um, admin area um, of your AdMob account and you want to make sure before you distribute your app that you take test mode off and also make sure this is visible if you take it away you know you can bring it right back but make sure that visible's on and test mode's off before you actually distribute your app anywhere and also you're going to need your ad unit ID which again you can get from the ad mob admin area and then Thunkable does not have an emulator but it has a very nice um, app that you could download on your phone and test it out it works very well it's all through um, QR code so when you go to test it's called Thunkable Live. You can download it right from Google Play for free and when you click on it it'll give you, you either can put in the code or scan the QR code. I generally scan it and it works great. So you can scan it, you can test it, and you can see that you can actually have AdMob ads in your App Inventor 2 apps. Alright, thanks for watching.